Look out. Oh, yes, footy's back today. I'm Hamish McIntosh. Wait, no, I'm not a giant man who played a lot of footy for a lot of teams. I'm James Clements. I'm just some dude. I'm also joined by two of my very, very good mates. That's right. Alex Donnelly over there. Hey, g'day, Jim. That's uh, wildly positive. What was in his coffee today? I don't know. I don't know. Just when your team wins, you know, it just yeah, feels true, good. Yeah. Yeah, you true. would know that. The stats man. No, over there. we're back to our usual program. We obviously, North lost. So, yeah, sad times. It is sad times. Why is that? It's because round 23 yeah, is this done. Is a sad point. They're very sad. This is the point where it really kicks in. You go, oh, I've only got one. Like every other team is sitting there going, oh, one, two, three, Cancun. But <laughs> Let's get out of here. fans are just like, wait, after this week, we'll only have like maximum four games of footy in a weekend. And then it'll only be two. Uh, the, the w then it'll be two again. And, uh, and then we'll get the W. Yeah, and about, yeah. The W starts in two yeah. The men's is just, it's just tough. Yeah. It's just tough. 80,000 people at the G. Well, there's, there's not going to be that many Melbourne Chaos. finals probably as well. So that's also awesome. we're, yeah, we're, on, we're on track for one yeah, in the first that's, week. That's brutal. Anyway. All right. Round 23 is done. This is the AFL Today Show. You can check us out on YouTube, all the good stuff, all the social channels you need to. What is it? Aussie Rules Today on the yes, face yeah, as well. Yeah, pop it off on there. Come it on. is going all right. So get around to wherever you podcast as well. Of course, 40 years back. And it's time for a quick look at round 23. Uh, chaos round. We've called it a couple of times. It could have been a little bit more chaotic. It almost, today was an absolute just, Today Disaster. sucked. Mm. Yeah. Like, Sunday just was a horrible, horrible day of footy. But all the like, other you days sat down, like, I had my mother-in-law's 70th. I mentioned that the other day. I was like, oh, someone's like, oh, geez, oh, that's not good. I'm like, my mother-in-law's a saint. She's yeah. awesome. Looks after right. the kids every so often. There you go. I was so happy to spend today just having that in the corner, just paying attention to the footy, rather than just sitting there and just going, oh, this sucks. Yeah. Yep. This yeah. is horrible. Anyway. It's been a bad day, whereas yesterday was great. Yeah. Yesterday was an awesome. absolute there was so many good games. barn burner of a day where you got yep. Melbourne upsetting the Suns. You had the Giants, Dockers, arm wrestle. You had an absolute chaotic grand final rematch between the Pies and the Lions. You had a showdown that featured plenty of Biff, yeah, lots of Riley Biff. Thrillthorpe. Yes. Uh, it was a smashing in the end, which yeah. was a bit surprising. You can trace it back to one point. Uh, there was a 63-point turnaround in Saints-Geelong. That was nuts. Wait, what? What the hell? How did the Saints score over 100 points? And Again. it's just like that was one awesome day of footy. Yep. yep. I'll tell you that much. Pretty good day to be hung over on the couch and not get out of your jammies, I'll tell you. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Uh, <laughs> Every day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh what actually happened in round 23, gentlemen? Well, Isaac Rankine got concussed yep. uh, from a pretty tough hit from Dan Houston. Very unnecessary, yeah. And Dan Houston is very much in trouble, you'd think. Dan Houston will not play another game for Port Adelaide. Oh, yeah. Well, he wants if out. He wants out. And he's yeah. going to get four. But then he's like, he's, he's, he's done a U-turn on Melbourne, which is interesting. Yeah, well, but so, any club would want him. Any club would want him. Point there. He's done a U-turn on Melbourne because he's like, I don't want to be Tim Taranto. Yeah. No. You know, jump out of a good situation and go, this is going to be, oh, this sucks. And yeah. Melbourne's culture, I think people are worried exactly. about. Exactly. Maybe he had a look, as I said the other day, he had a look under the hood and went, oh, yeah. don't know. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like walking into the uh, bathroom after the five-year-old's been in there. I'm like, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do? Uh, <laughs> nothing like shaming kids for their yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, thing is, if Port continue along their merry way and – seemingly maybe make another prelim or something like that, Dan Houston might not want to do a Tim Taranto and actually go, oh, I might just stick around. I'm sure he Adel sticks around. Adelaide's yeah. not that bad. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it team. was a high hit. Yeah, it was. At fir first uh, glance, I thought it wasn't because I thought he got this in This is when chest. Stats Guy is going to be against dudes getting knocked out no, and getting of course, suspended no, again. Of course like he when should Peter be Wright got four weeks, you're like, oh, he shouldn't. I don't think oh, that's a different one. But this one definitely, yeah, he should, he should get suspended. It was... Brutal in the moment. Yep. It was brutal at, like, game pace. Yep. It was brutal slow -mo. in the yeah. slow-mo. And, like, that's just and not And then that was just a well. big all-in brawl, which is always good for uh, me. It's good to see my man Riley Thrillthorpe just ragged all in, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Still. Uh, tough one. Dan Houston. Rough. Rough as guts. Yeah, to the it, point where they were asking Zach Butters after it as well, like, going... What did you say? He's like, well, nothing. <laughs> and he's just like, it's like Wayne, uh, Garth from Wayne's World, where he's like, yeah. he's hosting, he's like, eh. <laughs> uh, the dude from Scanners. Uh, so how many weeks do you reckon stats, boy? I think I said four originally, but think, seeing it again tonight, maybe five or six. Five. I'll go five. It's going to be hard for them to go less than six. 
six. Which is brutal because they really need him in the finals. He's an absolute jet. Yeah. Oh, well. You choose to bump. You yeah, pay the it was dumb. Like he could, he could have easily he just tackled him. Yeah, yeah. could have, have just they give us, Exactly, he chose to. It bump. was very dumb. Yeah, and uh, I reckon it'll be the six, and we'll probably talk about it again. And I don't know. on Wednesday and Thursday, yeah. is there a way that he somehow gets like less weeks no. than we think? And he make, and then they make the granny, and he comes back for the no, game. because he knocked him out. <laughs> no, I, I don't straight, think so. Yeah. The thing is, if like if you knock him out and concuss him when you choose to bump, it yeah. goes straight to the tribunal, and they the starting point is four, but they make it six. True. If it stays at four, that's next week. Yeah. You lose your first final. You're in the top four. You play another one. Yeah. Oh lose yeah. Fourth, so technically, win the prelim. You can still play the grand final. They could hey. purposely lose one to get uh, if oh, yeah, top four. Just what, get... Port, just what Port Adelaide would want to do again. <laughs> I know, I know. Lose a fourth consecutive final. No, you're right. You're right. All right. Speaking of other injuries and gear, we had Charlie Common with his oh. weird leg and concussion. That was a boy. concussion. 100%. Brutal. This, I think he's up there with the most injuries, like in the AFL, like any of the players. He's had so many injuries, this man. He, he's like he's broken his leg twice. He's, I think he's done his knee like twice. And now he's, they took him straight to hospital. They didn't even know what it was. They're just like, it's Charlie Combin. He's had too many injuries. Let's just take him to the hospital. They put him in the Charlie yeah. Combin room. Yeah, the they, room. He's just always they, there. He, like, and then he just walked in and went, oh, oh, hey, Jack Martin, you're here too. And, and when he plays, he's, a, he's an absolute gen. I love watching uh, Charlie, but yeah, brutal. That stinks. Bergman, Bergman was concussed Bergman as well. Bergman was his sub. A quarter later, nothing Jeez. went right for my roost today. He, he got concussed as he came on the ground. Yeah. Well, so. Day got injured as well in That's the a huge Tigers out. game. But the crazy thing was Mitch Cleary tweeted out after that X-rays have shown no collarbone break for Will Day, which is huge. Yeah. Really? But it's like, what happens if that's not a break? <laughs> yeah, what? Is it just like- That could be worse. Is it a big dent in it or something? What? That's weird. What the hell? Uh, so early news is positive. You'll need more assessment to determine- Well, he's not playing to the finals, yeah, at least. Just, no, I don't- I uh, didn't look good. They've got Richmond next week, right? Yeah. And no, they played Richmond- they got they, north. north. I'm going to be there. North. They'll yeah. win by 300 yeah. points. Yeah. And Scrimshaw's got like a badly points. dislocated finger as I, well. I would so not go to Tassie and they win by 300 points. That yeah. would be sad. That's unlucky. <laughs> Outside of that, James Hurd. Yeah, noise. Uh, joins Port Melbourne as the director of coaching, which is kind of fun. Mm-hmm. He still has good hair. He's got good hair. Yeah. Yeah. I saw him in person like about a year ago. I'm like, that is a great hair. Oh, it's James Hurd. <laughs> I saw him go. <laughs> I'm like, I noticed the hair first. Yeah. Like, that is a great head of hair. <laughs> James Hurd. James, <laughs> he's like, I saw thanks, him. Jim. He's like, no problem. Good beard, Jim. I'm like, oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, I saw him running one day. I'm like, ah, oh, it's James Hurd. He's still fit. Yep. Not as fit as Bucks, but still fit. Yeah. Nice. Still play. There was also, uh, not to step on your stat of the week here, Stats Boy, nah, but uh, right. I did love Bevo has equaled Ted Witten, I think. Yes. Yeah. Equal 228 most, games. 228 games. Most very cool. Most Bulldogs in, uh, coaching. Footscray yeah. Western Bulldogs. History. Still hasn't finished in the top four. He has been a great coach. He's got him a flag, which no other coach in the Bulldogs could do in, what was it, 70 years or something? I have no yeah. idea when so, the last one there. Good flag. on him. Good on him. Dog for life. <laughs> uh, Max <laughs> Gorn got a contract extension as well till 2027. Well, at least, but, at least one dude wants yeah, well, to stick around. To, he wants to stay because he's like, I'm the captain. I probably should pretend, yeah. that, pretend well, that I like it here. <laughs> even Barney yes, I was like, oh, uh, well, we'll see yesterday. what happens. Yeah. I've got a big offer somewhere else. Literally so many of their like, stars could be gone. So. Rebuild. 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 Mm. Uh, the other little bits and bobs is that we saw, so yesterday on the weekend rather, it came out that uh, Chris Scott did say that Tom Hawkins won't play for the West Coast game next week. Ah, uh, boo. Which is pretty crazy. Oh. So um, the is Cats that, are still that's they need a win, will yeah. still be fit to play in the finals. Poor. But I don't know how you bring him back. Even unless, it, unless he's 100%, 100%. Even at 100%, he's been pretty average this year. So Tell you what, they know. could have used a bit of a uh, extra Bit of experience as well on the weekend. Yeah. Uh, and then <clears> most of all, after round 23, the Blues uh, just won. ended up by six, winning by six. Liam five. Ryan recently just dropped a car. He, he was on someone's shoulders and probably would have been Mark of the Year and he just dropped it. But That's yeah, unlucky. Yeah. That's not great. For Mark uh, of the, year. the finals picture has gotten somewhat clearer. Oh, but by the just, same token. We, just. We, know, we know one thing. It's like... We, I tell you, we know one thing but, in the top eight. But this is, it's become somewhat clearer because before this, it was like looking into a puddle of mud. Now it's looking into a puddle of mud and it's singing back to you the Puddle of Mud songs. You yeah. know? Remember that band Puddle of Mud? Oh, like, oh, you guys definitely do. I do. Yeah. Oh, that's my go. Puddle of Mud. That's the, I reckon that's the first my, gym reference. It's in my running playlist. Else. It's like, yeah, I'm oh, like, yeah. I, I, probably, I probably do. I probably do. Uh, she had a, they had a, uh, Puddle of Mud had a song. It was basically an entire Nirvana rip. Right. Uh, she effing hates me. Yeah. Um, no, 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 no. Yeah. It's like the most like <laughs> yeah. you've written a post grunge song yeah. and that's the worst. So the only thing that we know right now is the Sydney Swans will play a home qualifying final. That that's is it. That's the only wild. thing that is the only thing locked in. Port Adelaide will also be in the top four. Top four for okay. Port. Uh the tricky part is so uh with all of this, basically and GWS actually. We also in as well. know that yep. essentially Essendon are done. 
That's what we do know. Yep, they're cooked. That, that's actually the best There part, are yeah. still nine teams, technically ten teams, who can play finals. So we would have to win by like 300 points on Friday night. Uh, so you're telling me there's a chance. So they, play in, they play in Melbourne. <laughs> they have to win like... Prove me wrong, Higgins. <laughs> <laughs> Prove me wrong. The record, they'll, they'll, the record score yeah. will be... Uh, will be yeah, the so yeah, it's... Your top three are locked in for the top three. Uh, Sydney will not Actually, wait, miss top spot. Collingwood, if Carlton and Freo lose, Collingwood... Mate, look at the percentage difference. It's no, no, no. They passed Freo because Freo's only on 50, 50 points. Oh, no. Freo's my, not, mine's not up. Nimrod. Mine's not you're, updated. Sorry. You're not looking at a yeah. live. Sorry. Live, yeah. live, live. To, I pressed live. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. I forgot Carlton have jumped him now. Jesus, my bad, my stats, bad. The stats guy they call him. Oh, this ladder so is not updating. Out. So Sydney first on 64 points, 126%. Port yep. Adelaide, 60, 114. GWS, 60, 111. Let's, let's just reverse it. We'll just do the... Ladder check, check, <laughs> check, check. Because this is what it comes down to. The ladder check is right now. This is the finals as it sort yep. of stands, right? You have Sydney at 64, 16 and 6. They're untouchable yep. basically uh, in the top two playing a home they've final. Got, they've got 13% the to lose against the Crows. Yeah, you're they're la- going to be yeah. first. You're laughing. Minor premiership tick. So Sydney play Adelaide next week. Port Adelaide a second on the ladder on 60 points. They're 15 and 7. They play Frio next week which is huge because Port yeah. want to stay in second ahead of GWS. They are three percentage points behind. Ooh. No, ahead, sorry. So they ahead. want to stay that up, right? GWS so if GWS, GWS win and Port lose, well, it doesn't matter. Exactly. Yep. So you want to keep on winning. GWS on 60 points as well in third. Play the Western Bulldogs, which is- That's going to be <laughs> awesome. A big game. In, uh, in, in your home. Ballarat. Yeah, Ballarat. I feel like we should go, boys. My, <laughs> my dad and brother are going, Bulldogs fans. So they're, they're, they're up and about for that. We'll we'll jump in the car with Mark. Yeah, yeah. go. The McCallion wagon. It might honestly be sold out because it doesn't hold that many people. Nah, we know a guy. Jim. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll climb up the lights. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can get tickets. Have my 10 year high school anniversary at that ground. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Good times. Number four, and this is the craziest one I think from this week in Geelong at 56. Could have locked themselves into the top four. Yeah, could they have locked cooked away the it. top four. They cooked and it. this is why I'm talking about the ladder positioning. He came clear and then it wasn't. Mm. If Geelong had done their job and beaten St Kilda, we'd have a top four. We do not have a top four as it stands because Geelong are all sorts of wonky and here we go. Because they can be jumped by Brisbane, who are in fifth <laughs> on 54 Also points. wonky. Yeah. 13-8-1, and one, who just went out and lost in disastrous fashion. Two remember weeks in a row. Remember two weeks place. ago, everyone's like, Brisbane are going to win the flag, and now they're fifth. So What the hell? The odds at the moment for them to win the flag is seven dollars fifty. They got down as low as that was three dollars yeah, yeah. fifty. That was three dollars eighty on Thursday afternoon. The bookies are laughing with this season because the amount of yeah peaks and troughs and all this is unbelievable. Right, I'll find the market. You yeah. then have so that's the Brisbane Lions in fifth on fifty four because of that crucial draw. You have the Western Bulldogs in sixth, equal with Hawthorne on fifty two points. Yep, and I believe my beloved Baggers on fifty two as well. Right. So that's sort of the eight at the moment. Frio sit behind that on 50 points in ninth. That loss to Essendon is really coming back to bite them. Yep. And then you have the Pies and the Bomb Rays in 10-11, uh, Bomb Rays being done. So the craziest one is so the Lions have a really amazing game against Essendon next week, which is who knows what the, the Dons will be playing for. Nice GWS example. Western Bulldogs just – is just the latter shaper. Like this is Well, huge. no, it's if G- it's if Western Bulldogs win that, it basically kills Fremantle. Yep. And yep. then Frio and Fremantle Port deserve it anymore anyway. The last game in the regular season will be Port Frio, which would be huge like, as well. It, it's amazing because I think we all think looking looking at this, like the the uh, dogs, Hawthorne can't we look at it go, all right, cut, Hawthorne are definitely gonna win their game because they're playing north. Yeah, yeah. Western Bulldogs or Carlton lose and Frio win. One of them's getting jumped. Mm. North Melbourne have the opportunity to do the funniest thing in the world. Well, we we uh, won our last game last year by a lot. Yeah, yeah, but was, St Kilda also have the opportunity yeah. to do the funniest thing in the world and beat Carlton. Weird things happen in Tassie, Jim. So you never know. There you go. Yeah. Uh, but Frio, that's a must. <laughs> Western was, Bulldogs, a must Western Bulldogs somehow going from the, being the best team three weeks ago to missing the eight would be the most Western Bulldogs thing yep. ever. And that's the weirdest part, right? The, it's very, very feasible with this, this bottom – Four of the nine, hmm. where you've got Western Bulldogs, Hawthorne, Carlton, all on equal points, and Frio on 50. Yeah. That if Frio do beat Port, all bets are off. Like, it's going to be chaos. That's the last game, though. So you're just like, oh. That's, that's got, really good. We've got, like, a game. massive Sunday next so week. I'm saying, gentlemen, live stream Sunday. 
No. All day. I'm not here, but Let's do you it. guys can. You Let's guys go, go, boys. Go for it. Go Let's for it. go. <laughs> That's boy. You're calling in. I'm canceling the leave. I could call in. I could call in. So, in. right now, the Swans are favourites $4. GWS 520. Port Adelaide 720. Brisbane 780. Geelong 10. The Hawthorne, odds are like 11. No, this is Betfair. So, it's the, yeah. it's the true market. And then okay. Western Bulldogs 1250. Carlton are somehow $14. 50s Frio. And then you can have 1000 to on the rest. Fascinating gear. Interesting. It is going to be nuts. That is a huge ladder. If you want to go down through the rest of it as well, you do have a little bit more jostling for draft picks because you have, as I said, oh Essendon on 46. Look at Gold Coast. Melbourne are on 44. <laughs> St Kilda 40. Gold Coast is somehow down in 14. Gold Coast now. will push into the finals and they're just going to be their classic 14th finish. Classic. They've lost four of their last five. Such a like, sad. It's incredible, but they Such do play sad. Richmond next week, so they should probably snag one more win. Uh, the Crom. The Crom are in 15th. That it feels is like so that bad. is one of the weirdest years. They're 8 and 13 and they're in 15th. West Coast, 5 and 17 now. Their two game winning streak comes to an end against the Blues. North, a 3 and 19. Stats boy, just uh, yuck. It's tough. Finished, the, seven, it's finished uh, no better than 17th for the fourth or fifth consecutive year. Yep. That I think is it's fifth. Yeah. continual suckage. Uh, it's been now, yeah, very sad times. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. Could Richmond jump them? Uh, if oh. they win the Dimmer Bowl. Oh, that. Funniest outcome. Funniest outcome. Funniest outcome. Funniest outcome. Uh, that is funny for Rich, everyone else. Richmond but, winning by 10 goals and North losing by 80 is the funniest outcome. I'm so outcome. torn because Richmond beating Gold Coast would be hilarious, but I don't want to become last again. But it's also, I don't want but no, but it'd also be funny because there was a certain few media people who a few weeks ago was like, for the next decade, North Melbourne won't be last. <laughs> so for them to get the wooden spoon yeah. would be kind of funny. Yep. Love it. No offense, stats guy. No, that's, that's fair. We're, we're crap. That's letter check after round 23. Remarkably, they're still at round 24. Yeah. I, Is I'm, there? I'm all oh. about this. Like, people are, oh, the footy season's too long. No. Nah. No, nah. nah, it can never be too long for me. I, yeah. Ever. I mean, Jim, don't you want to take... Never, I don't want a break. I just want to keep going. <laughs> Let's just keep going. We go out there to Christmas boards. We could send him to... The, well, we could do shows after. We've got, what, trade period, trade, draft. We could everything yeah. else. We, are, we, are we doing a trade show? We might as well. We, we could. We could. We'll call it trade, I don't know, podcast or something. <laughs> Today, yeah. today, do you get up for today? Podcast, in there? Yeah. <laughs> All right, time for a little bit of vent search. Uh, this is one that we've not had to yell about too much in the last few weeks. I feel like, but less noticeable at the game commentary. It was in stark, stark, stark uh, realization on the weekend where you had Brisbane calling without the G. Obviously, the callers are there. Yep, it was in every way, shape, and form. E flipping mense. It was huge. The game was huge. The call was huge. It was great. You know why? Because they're feeding off the vibe. Yep. I it's like the vibe. vibe of the thing, you know. Smash <clears> cuts <throat> earlier in the day, GWS Frio. Also an awesome game. You know what the vibe was? Nothing. Why is that? I don't know because no one was there calling the bloody game. That doesn't make any sense. God, just get somebody local. I don't even care. It's all right, but we've got a big screen. We can watch it. It doesn't. They used to the have same. Brent and Speed, and now for some reason yeah. they're, they're, he's calling on. The, he was calling on the radio. Oh. I was listening to the radio. All I ask, and we will get this next year. So this just is finally. No, we don't. We, well, it's not locked we in. We have an option for this next year. Yeah. Uh, at the game commentary, just do it. You can. Not hard, yeah. Uh, and also commentary. Can we just quit it with the first names? And the nicknames. Nicknames and yeah. first names. You know, I just can't stand this. I like, like the first names. Unless it's like a commonly accepted nickname of. Buddy Franklin. Buddy's easy because that's it's his nickname. He's the Bont. And he, that's his name. Bont's all right. It's the Bont is part of his name. But when we're just going, oh, he's kicked it to Joey. It's like, who yeah, is Joey. Joey? That's bad. Oh, Brownie's got the Bont. Who's Brownie? <laughs> I know, 87 AFL Brownies. There is a lot. Yeah. Quite literally, there's a Nathan Brown and another Nathan Brown. Yeah, yeah. What are we doing Jonathan here? Brown. So the, the one first name I'm fine with being used is Jamara. Because he's that's the fine. only he's one. He's the only Jamara. That's like, someone goes, Jamara! I'm you're like, like, oh, who's yeah, that? Who's that? I'm on board. Uh, unique <laughs> first that. names are fine because yep. it's LeBron. LeBron! Exactly. Kobe! LeBron sounds way better than James. Jamara, so, here we go. go. Yeah. Uh, I thought you were going to say something. Then. There you go. No. Still, just <laughs> no. sort it out commentary. You're killing me. And like, this is one of the last couple of weeks we have to sort of deal with a lot of this sort of stuff because we'll it'll go, be... Channel 7 does all the finals. finals They're at the games. Yep. Finals are at the games. Finals game, coverage is usually really good. Yes. And then finally, scheduling sort of was just a bit wonky this week because just I feel like we can. I've had a couple of conversations this week, this weekend specifically, going why, and like these are a couple of uh, folks who I've chatted to who aren't massive, massive, massive AFL fans, but like wait, so why is the AFL not Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday? I'm like, oh, you're talking to the right dude here because <laughs> I've got some thoughts, and Thursday, then I'm just literally yeah. like chewed someone's ear off <laughs> for the next forty five minutes. They're like, oh, why do I say that? So, and then 
but they were EPL fans as well, right? Yeah. They're like, oh, but we we have like midweek games yeah. and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, you've got like cup games, you've got Euro, Champions, League. Champions League, you've got everything coming out of the wazoo, yep. you've got international breaks and stuff, but at the same time, it works. You make it work. Scheduling. You use all the big brains but there's, out there. But there's also a lot of people in the EPL, it's different, that only want to watch their team and not everyone. Yeah. Yeah. But then there's psychos like us who want to watch yeah, every Yeah, there's lots of people that watch every game. But still, it's just like, yeah, there is time in a weekend for every single game of footy that you can watch. Yeah. Make it happen. The only but problem is doing? that means next year when they finally put Monday night footy is this show becomes Monday night at 11 p.m. That's actually fine. I'm okay with yeah. it. It's better than, to be honest, better than Sunday nights. I'll tell you, geez. Oh, I like Sunday nights. Let's do some game wraps from a big weekend of footy. Let's go. Hey, did a team win on Friday night? Yeah, nah, <laughs> just... yeah we did. And, oh. and broke the hearts of... Essendon fans around Australia once again. Uh, the yep. I was at my, as I mentioned, mother-in-law's 70th. Yep. Uh, lovely. A lot of Essendon fans at that party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they didn't, I want was, talk, didn't want to talk footy. <laughs> I did. I did. I very purposely was, oh, it's for you. Oh, geez, I'll tell you, it's pretty rough, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, didn't just revel in it like I could have. Uh, I didn't. Because Carl, Carlton had the chance to stuff it up. Exactly. I didn't want to get ahead of my skis. Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, a good, that's a good good. Now good that's way. happened. Blah! <laughs> Carlton won anyway, so it doesn't matter. Bobbers! Nah, you guys are great. Um, Wait, what, are they still the best team? So <laughs> my entire thing. Lost eight out of their last 11 to oh. blow it. This is exactly what happened last year. Exactly the same yeah. thing happened last and it's, year. And you know what? They've already said they're going to go back to the States to some college uh, colleges that didn't and work. work out. That and did not work. Go nuts, Essendon. Right, this game. Sydney, 98-59, yep. Essendon. Uh, Bombers were in it early. Bombers should have been seven goals in they front at half They were killing you guys early. Oh, my uh, God. And then they were not in yep. it because yes. Sydney just went, check this out. Yeah. Wha-pam. After halftime, I'm like, oh, oh, that was cute. Okay, we're just going to take over and dominate the game. But first of all, shout out to Jimmy, Thomas, and Scott from Platform 28. Yeah, that's on awesome. Friday. Oh, hey. AFL today. And that's the mustache guy. <laughs> Literally, that's what one uh, guy said. He's like, I recognize the mustache. 100%. And then Thomas bought me a beer. Nice one. I just hope that they remember the theme song. <laughs> AFL today. <laughs> that we've said once. Um, Check it out now. It's can AFL imagine just sitting today. at a pub and that you hear that in the corner. That's a, that's a bit creepy. <laughs> um, oh, that's a bit but good. But yeah, so Essendon, they did dominate this first half. Should have been a mile in front, but they just chip it around, go sideways. Like, oh, we're just going to bomb it long and hope for the best. Or... Chip it to a dude oh, the Carlton, 48, the Carlton method. 48 meters in in front of goal, and mm. it just doesn't work. Weak inside 50s, and McCann and Malik are like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, Mark, okay, we'll try and do anything, but they couldn't get forward. I thought Nick Martin was brilliant. Oh, he was unbelievable. Uh, he was fantastic. Zach Merrick got tagged out of the game by James Jordan. Jake Stringer did the most Jake Stringer thing ever, kicked an awesome snap off his left boot. Then Mr. Sitter. Doesn't he know he needs a contract? Jake Stringer. What, well, what is he doing? That's the thing. He's so he kicked yet. 41 goals four years ago, then 20 something, 20 something, and he's going to kick 40 again this year. Oh, he's going to kick 40. Yeah, oh, he's yeah. on 39 okay. at the that's moment, I think, or he's up to 40 now. Wow. Um, Essendon, you're not good enough to be good. You're not bad enough to completely bottom out. Same <laughs> place once again. This is great. Yep. Uh, Heen Man, another three votes. It's going to be really awkward come Brownlow night. Mm. It feels like that. Nah, nah. Cripps, Cripper. Cripps might have a pet. Yeah. Cripps and Neil, I think, will be still above him. Man. Yeah, but there's a chance if he gets another three next week, he's like, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Lukey Parker, big game, three goals. He was awesome once again. I love the games of Braden Campbell and Matty Roberts. When you get to finals, it's, depth, it's your the bottom six play. players yeah, yeah. that are that lift up and play well, win you the flags, and I think they were great. Campbell, by foot, is as good as Errol, who was also pretty good. Uh, Amadi did nothing all night, then all of a sudden he's kicked two goals. Will Hayward popped up with goals, but importantly for Swans fans, Callum Mills is back. Oh, one all, week, the ru- one all week. the rust is off. As I said, it's yeah. the rust that's slowly working off. Racist. <laughs> yeah, but so 26 touches. Just because he's got red hair, Alex, yeah. doesn't it's mean not... he's got rust. <laughs> 26 Jeez. touches, five score involvements, 10 intercept possessions. He was absolutely fantastic. And Sam Durham, you are fake tough. Nice try. You got put on your ass. It was a weird Bombers game. They had the six of the top seven uh, ball winners. No, sorry, was it six or seven? I, six I, of the top seven ball, ball winners, winners were yeah. Bombers. But that's the thing. And they, then they, they beat you in every stat almost except like – it was unbelievable. Once again, the one that matters, which is the of thing course, that Essendon yeah. fail at all year, is yeah. kicking goals. The Swans just went, yeah. oh, this is good. We're going to be deadly with our use of the footy. That's what it was. It was a good team actually using the football well and going through a team that can't defend. Like, you are so lucky you got rid of oh, Mackay oh, left. Oh. Well, $1.4 million. I think he's in his own head because he's, he is a good player. I think he's a good player. He, he's just so been so Mackay bad. Mackay was year. also getting just dragged. It's like mm. under 12s would hit that hand. Yeah, yeah he, 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 like, he's done that about five or six times this year. Just that easy handball that yeah. AFL players would never miss. But it was also that saying. after halftime, the Swans pressure just went yep. turned on, and that's when Essendon just started absolutely crapping down their pants, and the Swans just went, hey, 
We're really good. We're minor premiers. We're going to make the grand final. Yep. Essendon had 389 to 354 disposals. Yeah, yeah they beat them everything. Inside 50s yeah. to 48. Yeah. It was just their efficiency was like, inside 50s, like 39% to 52. They had 17 free kicks to 10. Yeah. They beat them in hit outs. They basically entered, they equaled them in center clearances. Stoppage clearances, basically the same. Beat them in contested possessions, uncontested possessions. They had fewer turnovers. Yeah. And they got smashed. The one that That's chaos. I'm a little bit worried. I don't know if you're being a Swans fan. Yeah. It was the lowest tackles you had. I know you had a lot of the ball in the second half, but it was only 41 tackles, which is a season low. Yeah. I don't know if that's a bit of a worry. I but, was, but you won anyway. So I wasn't matter. too concerned no. because their pressure in the second half was lifted, elite. Yeah. Yeah. And it was also Essendon were doing just a lot of chipping around. So anytime the ball actually hit the deck, the Swans would just like just absolutely it's crash like you, in. It's like if you throw a crust of bread in a yeah. bunch of swans. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. Oh, that's uh, perfect. How are the two fan bases feeling? Alex, how do the swans feel? Swans fans very happy. Now going into next week, are going, okay, rest Brody Grundy, rest the Lizard, rest Will Haywood, rest Dane Rampey. Next week doesn't matter. Make sure the boys are right for finals because there's some players you can't Especially afford to guys, yeah. Someone like Dane Rampey, if yep. he gets injured in a meaningless game, what are we doing? Smart. Essendon fans, just. <laughs> they like, no, we did it again. Flip side, flip we side. did it again. <laughs> Sheedy's out, Dodoro's out. There is like at yeah. least an yeah. undercurrent of optimism hey, from that was and fans. My message in the group chat last week. Dodoro out, that means they're going to win the flag. I <laughs> found the funniest outcome for 2025 already. Essendon make the finals and lose an elimination final at the MCG to the Gold Coast or North Melbourne. Oh, well, okay. North's not going to make the finals, but Gold final. Coast maybe. But <laughs> funniest outcome. Yeah. It's pretty good. Uh, uh, how are the fan base is feeling after Friday as well? I was absolutely stoked. I went to one of the best gigs of my life on a yeah. Friday night. I saw the Menzingers, one of my favorite nice. bands. Uh, so I saw the first. You didn't half have to watch this, this scrappy. Oh, you well, watched the first. Really half. good. Oh. Then came out of the room. What happened? Yeah. <laughs> is there, there's no like like mobile reception in the Crocs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're just like I don't know what's going on. Like I had mates at the same gig. I'm like, where are you? And you're like waiting for the message to send. You're like, oh, whatever. <laughs> um, met them anyway. It was all good. But yeah, the footy. I'm just like, oh, that's. I was about to say the Crocs isn't that big. You should be able to find them. Roxton, yes, yeah, it's, it's big, but it's not ma- like yeah. it's not cabinet. No, it's, it's not an beers. arena. Yes, <laughs> but yes, uh, I dark. had a few few beers anyway. Menzingers, what a what a band, what a gig. Nice. Saturday, Gold Coast. You mate Jim hung over on the couch in his jammies. There's not as many notes. Three, <laughs> this Gold Coast Suns team playing at home were obliterated by the, the Melbourne Demons, one seventeen to sixty three. First the time all year. The twenty eighth parallel. Dead. It's not it's, dead. No, it is dead. They got smashed. But. It's dead. I am worried about the 28th parallel. <laughs> the Maybe aura, next year they might. The aura no. of the 28th parallel that has taken work. a big hit. A big hit. It has. This entire sun season can come down to when Jed Walters shaved his head. I'm well, just saying. Yeah. Don't do it, Jed. What yeah. are you doing, mate? Uh, at home, Noah Anderson was still very good in this game. Yeah. Uh, he was everywhere. He had, uh, Flanders 30, was everywhere. 33 disposals. Yeah. But this game was How incredible. does Ed Langdon have 37? I'm going to check if that's How? a career. He's a How? good player. He is How? a good player. But that the, zinc cream. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he did look good in the zinc cream. Zinc cream. Yeah, yeah the zinc cream. you got to do it above the 28th yeah. parallel. Yeah. you got to have the zinc cream on. He was flying. It makes you at least 5% quicker. Did he have short sleeve or long sleeve on? Short, I but I wasn't it because it was pretty hot. Yeah, but he so, he, he gets the short sleeve and, and rolls, rolls it up to a t-shirt. I actually like can't sort of remember now. Shorter, oh, Ed, what are you doing? Are they like yeah, like the three quarter sleeve yeah. almost. Anyway, uh, Gold Coast were in this game, so I clearly saw none of this. And then Melbourne it, just yeah. stomped them. It was chaos. I don't know what happened to this Gold Coast Suns team. They got curb stomped. You got Disco second. Turner, they call him. Uh, four goals. I think that, that's got to be a career high for them. They're doing guy. this when Cozzy Pickett's only had four touches. What yeah. the? Did he, Cozzy was such did a, absolutely nothing I in reckon this game. Gold Coast it just, was hilarious. So yeah, this cooked. was a one goal lead to Melbourne at the half yeah. and then Gold Coast just did they kicked two goals I think the rest of the way. So it was egregiously egregiously horrible. Okay. And uh, I want Dimmer to just go we not only need to grow the F up I'm going to F and fight F and every F and one of you. Like, that's what they basically needed him to do like, after this game. Oh, there's so amazing. many guys that just don't stand up. They, they they can't have two good weeks in a row, most of their players. It doesn't make any sense. Like Ben King kicked two. Witsy kicked two goals. Witsy! Like, Raul only getting 16 but touches is everybody brutal. Everybody else just that's not good. dunk it up. Flanders kicking the two is like found money. But wow. Like no Mac Andrew going like that much forward. He didn't have that much of an impact. Uh, you had just... A lot of hangers on. Yeah. And this was a Melbourne team without Clary. That looked cooked. They, we they all thought they were going to be getting smashed. Didn't, didn't, you also, didn't you guys tip them? Well, you both, we all tipped uh, Gold Coast. But let's also note, this is a big win for the Ds after the week from hell here, yeah. just going, 
burn the joint down. Everyone's leaving. Everyone's out there. It's like, we're just going to go stomp the Gold Coast on. But the problem is, if no one was watching, did it happen? <laughs> I didn't uh, see it. Melbourne fans probably were I'm yet to see all... any footage of this game on the internet. Oh, there you go. Well, having watched it, I mean, uh, yeah, it definitely happened. But you were hungover, so I don't know, I don't know if you're reliable. <laughs> this, but this was also one of the – this is a great hangover game because you're watching this at the same time you're watching the next game we're about to talk about. Flipping between the two, you're like, this is great. I'm having a horrible time, but I'm having a great time. <laughs> anyway, I'll tell you what. It's the pint of a double of Jamison and Soda. Oh, a so pint. You got a double, but you got enough du- soda to is, sort of like balance it out. That is too much. But it's just like <laughs> it's just a lot of booze in there. But anyway, uh, Viney was fantastic. Yeah, thirty yep. and two. Like he did. Get into everything. North. Come on. And uh, how are the two fan bases feeling about Gold Coast getting run over at home by Melbourne in a dead rubber? Probably not great. <laughs> Gold Coast fans are tearing their hair out again. Suns fans are like, what the hell was that? <laughs> This Melbourne team gave, they're like in Cancun already. Yeah, they're, they're out of Plane Oliver literally might be. In like, Bali, it might be in Petrarch Bali. is not allowed to get on a plane for another six months or he might yep. explode. <laughs> but he's still basically, he's gotten onto the, uh, on well, the M1, he's just banged yeah. down the surf coast or something. Maybe. No, he, he, he's, he's cooking. Hard. No. Master no, Chef. He's going up to the snow. He, that, let's be real. He's going to Buller. Yeah, with, with, yeah. with all the Melbourne fans. With all the other Melbourne fans. Yeah, fair. Uh, but the fan bases, the demons are like, where was this fight? Oh well, yeah, I think they'd still be a little oh, bit yeah. happier because no, they've they've had a really bad Alex couple Neil months. Alex Neil like asked out, yeah, and then he just played an awesome yeah. game. Like it's chaos. Yep. Brilliant. Anyway, Gold Coast, they're just like, what the hell, man? Melbourne, just like, what the hell, man? <laughs> so <laughs> a different sort of what the hell. The other game, as I mentioned, GWS 101, oh my 3092. One of the games of the year. Sick. Yeah, this was one of the games. But of the year. this, if this was this exactly the same the GWS uh, Brisbane game last week. GWS should have been like nine goals in front in the first yeah. 15 minutes. It was just like, uh, Jesse Hogan's going to kick 10. Tom Green's going to have 50. They were curb stomping them. It was like, ridiculous. It was crazy. And then they let them back into it really, really quickly, and they yeah. just missed everything. And then suddenly they're like down at the half. You're like, what the hell just happened? Yeah, it was. Yeah. And then they just arm wrestled their way And then just like back, forth, back. It was, that was awesome. Like It looked like um, GWS was going to kick away a little bit. Then the Dockers would get it one or two back. It was just it was awesome. One of your favorite gyms, score one. Yeah, we yeah, probably should put great. that. I did write that down. Interesting uh, score worm. Yeah, we great should put that up worm. on the uh, up the up on the screen. Hogan had six. Yep, could yeah, have had ten. Six goals, four. He, like, he kicked six goals, four. Just <clears> kick it to the big six. Two out, he kicked two out in the full he, as well. This is the best run of goal kicking we've seen in a long time. I'm trying to think since like but, since, since Buddy, since Buddy or like but. Fev or like yeah. like the amount of goals he's kicking every week is just nuts. So good. I do love it. Brent Daniels is amazing in this game as yeah, well. Yeah, all Australian Brent Daniels. Ooh, thank you. He had maybe. goal assists coming at the Wazoo as well as kicking his own three. He yep. was absolutely everywhere uh, as evidenced by his Good luck score. giving out the votes in this game. Yeah, you had Brayshaw have 41 disposals. Tom Green had 40. That was an awesome battle in there. Like, you look up, it's like they'll hand more to each other pretty much. But, but Briggsy was really... awesome in the rock. Like, oh, This great. game, oh, Darcy Jones. We haven't even talked about him. That chase down tackle on uh, Luke Jackson to win the game. He, he was awesome, Darcy Jones. That Briggs, check side. Briggs' oh. goal that he kicked was mm. awesome as well. Just like full of highlights. Just game. absolutely roosted it. Mm. Briggsy uh, showing why I picked him at the start of the team and the start of the year in the Meaty Boys. Nice. Uh, there stuff, was also Briggsy. Lockie Ash, I think, might be looking at an MRO on a head hit as well. Oh, yes. Um, yes, correct. I, th- I haven't um, seen anything else after that actually game. So still not great. What a wild game it was. Mm. And it was kind of like, oh, it's not exactly like the fade out from Frio in the fourth quarter that we sort they, of seen. They pretty well in Lockie the Lockie Ash has been given a match. One match. Okay. As well as a fine for yep. staging. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And so Frio did kick four goals in this last one. Yeah. But allowed GWS to do the exact well, same. Well, exactly. Uh, Lazar Ali's point on Code Sports, how we've talked about this every week, or last three weeks for Frio. Crumbling in the last quarter. They, 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 they should, they, in fairness, they should be zero from eight because Logan mm. McDonald kicked one off his shin. Yeah, yeah. So they, yeah, they've got a closing problem. Yep. Nice. Anything else you want to throw into this one? This is the game of the year. Or? Be my favorite game. The to next watch one was year. pretty good too. Yeah, but I don't enjoy Collingwood. So. Bo- it is good that both teams we had two of the, We had two well. of the best games of the season in three, within three hours of each yeah. other. Like, this was great. Facts. And it wasn't one of those ones where it's like, it's tight, but it's like eight goals to nine. And you're like, oh, that wasn't actually that great. This was great football all day. Yeah, just all so many highlights. Yeah. All the games are good. That's what it's all Footy. about. Footy. What, are you trying to tell me that the North Richmond game wasn't the game of the year from two weeks ago? Um, that was, we won, so I was happy. How the two <laughs> fan bases are feeling? Giants fans are just like, 
Jim might have been right at the start of the year. We are the best team in the country. <laughs> All Sydney the third final. best team. In the All Sydney, Sydney grand, grand final. final. It's happening. I would. That would be pretty cool. Frio fans would be ruining cool. yet another opportunity missed. Three in a row. Three losses in a row. Fraud when watch. They Not even fraud watch. They are frauds. They are frauds. Yeah. It's fraud mantle. It's fraud like, mantle. do you want to play finals? You had top four yep. on a platter and you're somehow going to miss finals. Well, they do have one huge, huge, huge remaining opportunity to... Uh, do be it, poor, we're about yeah. to find out. Like, who knows? That is a hard. They all know by the time they start, run out. They'll yeah. actually know what's going on. Oh, okay. it's like Still. Carlton last year. Mm. Crazy man. Uh, fan bases. Yeah, we said that. We GWS, oh, yeah, GWS fans, like, yeah, we're sweet top four. Yeah, that let's go. That. Pies Lions. What a game. Oh, I was there. This is Mac by seventy nine. Brisbane seventy eight. You guys are both there. I was watching this on the big two. Hung over. Just going need more coffee. This was awesome. Yeah. The Lions looked absolutely it didn't look like unstoppable. It was going to be. They were kicking their heads I in. I went to the bar for two, two and a bit quarters because- uh, Was it just stats boy? Yeah. yeah. No, I was in the in the lobby. It was very nice. And um, yeah, what was it? 33 to nine at one point? Was that the- They kicked lead? the first yeah. four or five goals It was goals unbelievable. For Everyone it was, was like, oh, all the Collingwood supporters like groaning in the fourth quarter. Like, yeah. oh, but our season's cooked. And then they were just awesome after that. So good. Yeah, it was, once again, the Lions jumped out to an awesome first quarter yeah. lead. And have just somehow given up the ghost then. But like, we got the full yeah. Joe Danaher yesterday. We got yeah. full like Joe Danaher. First Duckett. quarter, he's like amazing, best forward in the comp, and like, then he just cooked but it. But then after he's that. spraying oh. him, he's taking grabs, yeah. kicking goals. You never go full Joe Danaher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he went. Full, he always does. He, what was it? 10, 10 score involvements, really? five oh. clangers, burnt Chucky Cameron a few times, yeah. missed a sitter, hit a torp that went out in the full, yeah. put another one into, into the great southern stand. Like That's why you pay, t- you pay for your ticket to go and watch Joe. Joe Danaher just do something awesome you, or do something dumb. It's he great. went and chewing the gum all day like there was no tomorrow. He went full Joe. <laughs> it was great. I was feel good. like <laughs> there's like a uh, a Brisbane Lions Sydney Swans bet where Alex has to <laughs> shave his mo to look more like Joey Duckett's where it's like two component parts. <laughs> oh. And his hair to be like uh, Joey Duck. I can't like, get my hair like grow that. The rats and he has to wear out. one sock up, one sock down if he's in the ruck. Like. I don't mind this. I'm going to work on the details. <laughs> but it's like the sure. mustache is like you gotta two do a, component parts. You've got to do a beard. I can't under. do a beard one. The bid's untouchable. Uh, <laughs> yeah, true. There's, there's a brand. Also Carlton stinks. So yeah. like, you can do the thriller. So. What am I going to do so, with the thriller one? I don't know. Figure it out when they play play each other next year. Anyway, this game, let's talk it all, all the way through. So the swing back towards the pies happens. Good worm again. Two, two a crazy worm. worm. Yeah. Well, the second quarter they get back into it, and then in the third quarter Brisbane, ah, okay, that, that's enough. Go away. Like yeah. We're, we're going to go and win this game. Get our top four spot, despite Nick Dacos playing absolutely phenomenally that's what, at the same you know time. You how they were like, ranking Nick Dacos' games? That's right up there. He was unbelievable. So Goal the two of the year, goals that he kicked oh. in the second, second quarter basically second. put the team just back into the unbelievable. game. Unbelievable. Yeah. They, they oh. were basically they were dead in the water still, and yeah. he just had those two goals and like, Collingwood fans oh, are just we like, believe. Wait, Hang on. Dacos is going to will us over the line. Yeah. That was unbelievable. And he also kicked a point like at the uh, at some point as well. You could have had three right yeah. there. Yep. And it was awesome. That like, just... Goal that he ran through the middle, I think it has to be it would be up there for goal of the year. No one in the league was catching him. He was so fast. Yeah, but there'd to be take a few two bounces. Like not many there's only a, play, a few players in the comp that can kick that goal. And yeah. So they got him within five points because yep. they held the Lions to a single point in yeah. that second quarter. Crazy. It was incredible. The best offense to watch. in the league to a single point. And that's exactly they're, they're, they're not the best oh, offense in the league. One of. And it's actually what happened at the very end of this game, because Brisbane did sort of get back up pretty handily. Uh and then right at the end, though, after they kick, Lockie Schultz just goes absolutely out of his Lockie mind. Lockie Schultz had his moment, finally. Finally did something good. And <laughs> we we rewind the tape to when Jim said it'll be something weird like Lockie Schultz going nuts. You actually did say that. Just saying. You did say that. Uh, the thing was, the part that blew my mind, they get back up and they get in front. I'm like, oh, have they left too much time here? And then Chucky kicks the goal. And it's it just like, so close, what are we yeah. doing here? And it just didn't get there. The, the noise end, was insane the noise at went, the ground. The la- loudest part was Quaino getting that really clutch tackle at the end. Was I think it was Quaino, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Quaino. So I've, I wrote it, it down. It was awesome. Got my then, thing. But it was exactly like Darcy Jones' but tackle. So it was Qua- awesome. Quaino run down tackle on oh. Bailey. Yes. Yeah. But then that, that goes that goes up the other end to our good friend John Noble, who then gets it across it to good. Schultz, who good. then does the running boo na na, which honestly, because I was across on the other side from it, it looked like he shanked yeah, the ever-loving crap kept bending, out of it. Kept it. Back. Like, oh, look, oh, it's a goal! <laughs> and everyone's going So up. is it uh, Archie had an absolute Barry Crocker shocker right of the death as yeah. well. He did, he did. Uh, and that was it. So I think 
you look at that Lions thing, you go, oh, how did they only score one point for the entire second quarter? How did they not score at all for the last two and a half minutes of this game? Well, Joe, da- Joe what, Danaher- Colling- what did Collingwood do? Gave him the clamps. That was the first but time they've defended they all year. Yeah. I was about to say, Joe Donahue did miss a sitter with about eight minutes to go that would have put the game out of reach. Darcy Moore was a lot better as well, which like he actually was manning up and getting spoils for once. So good on. Mm, nice he hasn't one. been doing that all year. But I thought I thought John Noble was great. He had he 20 touches, really six yeah. score involvements. I thought he was fantastic. Yep. Um, Josh Dunkley was very good as well. Ashcroft, really good, especially first half and yeah. side body. Hell also, of a worm. Hell of a big worm. Oscar. Get that big O had a good day as well. Yeah, so that goal he got out of the ruck yeah. was really nice. Big O and Darcy Cameron was a good matchup. He's been underrated uh, this year, the big O. He's, he's a really good ruckman. All right, two fan bases. How are they feeling after one of the best games we'll, we'll see this Collingwood year? Collingwood fans were up and about going, we can make finals and Carlton just ruined that. So And then they looked at their percentage as well. It's like, yeah. Mm. Well, no, they had a chance until Carlton decided to what West Coast and Brisbane. There like, is still a chance. Technically, no, but. no, no. <laughs> no, no. Collingwood no, no, fans, technically, you're technically, you're technically there, is. there is. Collingwood but, season's, <laughs> season ended when Errol Goulden snapped that goal. Pretty Brisbane much. fans are like, come on, man. We had we had top four sewn yeah, up. Yeah, now they're but fifth. I said it crazy. a month ago. They've spent so long chasing that yeah. they're going to run out of gas. Just, uh, and I think they've hit the end of the road. So Brisbane play Essendon this week. If they lose that game, they could be jumped. We yeah. haven't even talked about Brisbane by at the G as well. Bulldogs, yeah, Hawthorne, well. and Carlton Fees mm. Blue. Yeah. Yep. And if Frio beat Port, what happened? Oh, nah, percentage isn't enough. Okay, yeah. so. They're fine, but geez. They're now, uh, Brisbane are now two and 16 in the last 10 years. The only two times. The the what two, are they doing? The two wins at the G have been against the Ds. Two and 16. Just come on. But it was just so cool to have a grand final rematch that was and almost was really as good, good as yeah. the grand final. Yeah. yeah. It's very similar. Like, that was rad. Game, yeah. Awesome. Just, yeah. <laughs> Showdown. Oh. That was fun. 80, Port Adelaide. They finally get one on the board. First win in the last five. Yeah, I think. four or five sounds right. Maybe four. They, I think they yeah. lost three straight at least. Yeah. Uh, Adelaide, 58. Crom. They were looking good. Well, so the three quarters, it was oh, fantastic. Yeah. This game got, turned around when Isaac Rankin got yeah, noped into the next the level. Beef. The beef started. And it's sort of... Because there, there was a goal goal in it at that point, and then you yeah. take out Adelaide's best player, and it just put Adelaide... <laughs> bye. Yep. They could never really drag it back into this one. Yep. And uh, uh, put Adelaide finished really strong as well. Like, Adelaide led until, what, halfway through the third quarter. Yeah. Yep. And you're like, here we go. Oh, they kicked four points in that third quarter and it was all over Brutal. there. Port Adelaide just sort of held them at arm's length the rest of the way. With a makeshift forward line like that, for them to actually go out and put up 98 points. No, no, no they did. 80 points. 80, 80, 80, 80 points. Yeah. What are you? It was 80 to 58. It's just like, I'm just. There was an eight in there somewhere. <laughs> doing extra, extra points. But it's like, yeah, Willie Rioli to Hornet to Francis Evans to Darcy Byrne Jones to like this. That's a, such a good performance, like an all round. Yeah, but it's yeah. also like your other teams looking at them going, they, they are very gettable in True. finals. 100%. Yeah. Uh, Fog only kicking to Rochelle getting amongst it as well. Yeah, he's, he's, his goal was the uh, the no teeth celebration Giving, after his. I liked like it. I, love I liked it, it but then they didn't win. And it was yeah. so what? I'll get into that later. Doesn't matter. Ben so, Keys didn't do enough. Ranking. He was trying his. He tried. He always. He always. He so was hard. trying. But he sometimes isn't clean with the ball. Exactly. He yeah. cooked a couple of possessions. Yeah. Like oh, if that's a bit better. But he's always got his heart on his sleeve. I Keys. thought Jordan Dawson was brilliant. I know we're going to get to Zach, how good Zach Butters was. Yeah. Jordan Dawson was trying to come yeah. on. Oh, he always no plays well. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure no one's jumping on my back here. But this was a great, fun, chaotic game. It had everything. Biff, a huge swing in the middle of it. Yeah. Yep. Thriller's beard. So do you want was so straight to the tribunal for Dan Houston? So that means minimum of minimum four. Of four, yeah. Asava got fined three and a half grand. Charlie Dixon, eighteen hundred. Zach Butters <laughs> copped another fine. Zach Con- Butters got another one. He yeah. gets a fine every week. Yeah. Uh Connor Ose fined. Rochelle fined. Luke Nankervis fined. Jackson Mead oh fined. God. Matt Crouch fined. Somehow didn't get suspended for throwing those elbows. I just had a, a thought. Zach Butters, I was talking about this with the mate the other day. Where does it come to a point where you've had so many fines that it turns into a week? Yeah. Like, what, like if you just little, give a little hit to someone every week, yeah, how does that not turn but, into a week? But they're all different things because this I was, know, he was engaging in a melee slash like wrestle. He's clearly got the most uh, fines. How the hell does that not turn into a suspension? Because the, the Draymond Green corollary yeah, we're talking about. Stats, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't. And in the anyway, NBA, they do have like escalating. Yeah. It doesn't matter what I you're getting the fined AFL for. You had just that. get fined more. I thought the AFL had the... So, hey, no one got suspended on Friday. you get a certain amount stuff. of fires and you get weeks, but nice. obviously not at uh, Awesome game, fun game, enjoyed every minute of it. Yep. And then it was kind of a bit of a letdown that Adelaide could never sort of get back into it. Yeah, uh, Port was really showing last quarter. So there you go. Yeah. Then this game. Oh, how the two fan bases yeah. power are just like, oh, are we good? They're Don't still know. a bit worried, but they oh, top two is still. How are we second on the ladder? Yeah. Why did we drag Ken? <laughs> <laughs> like, well, uh, for them to do that with like what Charlie Dixon, 
up forward doing Asava. absolutely nothing. Charlie's done. Uh, He's been so bad this year. As I said, sent the Hornet forward and we, away he went. We didn't mention our Thriller Tunnel. Like, like, was it Jackson Mead or someone? Yeah, that's right. That that was not as bad as the Eric Hipwood on Lizard one, but it was really bad. Once again, not a free the free kick. The umpire just yeah. looked at it and gone, oh, yeah. It's like there's a guy flipping in the air. Yeah. Like <laughs> dead set could have broken something. It should yeah. be a free, it should be a suspension to be honest because it's that you are putting you are taking the body position away and taking it's the, dangerous, the, the yeah. care of the care of duty. That's yep. what it is. Yep, duty of care. Duty of care. Thank <laughs> the you. Care of call, duty. call of duty. <laughs> call of duty. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> Thriller's beard just has me all scared. I am worried that he shaves it this week and lose his scariness because when that wrestle was happening, I was like, oh, Thriller's gonna kill someone. He might look like a baby next week. Maybe. I don't like that at all. Yeah. <laughs> Port, though, their fans are going to be absolutely flying because after they got belted by Brisbane back at the end of Jalo- June, July, Jaloon. <laughs> Jaloon. Oh, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> so that was huge. That was at home as well, and they got killed by 80. They then had that scrappy, horrible game where they beat the Saints. They've had a lot points. of scrappy games. They smashed the dogs at home. They lost that random game to the Suns, but that was up at the Gold Coast. Yeah. Everyone they f- ran right over the top of the Tigers. They beat the pants off of Carlton. Smoked They Sydney. absolutely smash-a-rated the Swans. They snuck scrappy by Melbourne, Melbourne game, and then yeah. they won a showdown. How are their fans feeling? Probably fine. Our mate Power Braun Star will get in the comments and let us know how he's feeling. Yes. Um, as long as Jim doesn't sing, he'll be pretty happy, apparently. He's been good in the comments. He's been good. I've got, I've got the voice of an angel. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't happy with Jim singing. He hates Jim singing, but he's always in the comments. <laughs> Shout out to the power for on star. Songbird of my generation. <laughs> Adelaide fans are going to be like, uh, if Rankin doesn't get knocked out, do we win this game? And you maybe. feel like maybe oh, they would have. Yeah. Nah. It's a ter- it were, is one of those big turning, turning points. It was. It was. But Usually the team that had, like loses somebody in that way. They get up. Best they get back yeah. up. But it's also Rankin. It's like if it happened to like Sam Berry. It'd be different because you still had ranking. True. Anyway, love a bit of beef. Great one. Sydney. Wait. St. Kilda. <laughs> Sydney already played. I'm looking at the wrong bit. S- S- I don't want to talk about Sydney did, again. St. Kilda did their best swans in interpretation. Yeah, they did. there you go. Yeah, there you St. Go. Kilda 107, Geelong 89. Uh, if you were watching uh, Lee Joey Montagna, I think, in the halftime, Geelong won this game. Oh, yeah. did they? Yeah. The game's <laughs> over. They've won this. They'll win this. Uh, so... They have to start looking ahead. I don't think they should have looked ahead, Joey. Maybe it was a reverse What are you talking about? The reverse moss from him being a Saints man. Yeah. Maybe. Nah. That, I, of course it's not. I'm just, reverse moss, maybe. Reverse moss, yeah. But this was incredible. Is this the weird, like, when we think of results, is this the weirdest result of the year given the 63-point turnaround? No. Richmond, Richmond beat Sydney. beating Sydney. Oh, yeah. that That's was the <laughs> bottom of the ladder team beating the top of the ladder team. Yeah. Yeah. But we will look back in like 50 years and go, how the hell did that happen? <laughs> I don't know if we'll be looking at that result, but maybe. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald, make a note in 50 years. <laughs> Sarah, Gerald, I'm like, <laughs> Gerald's just like, if I'm still dealing with this red man, honestly. <laughs> are we all going to be? <laughs> Wait, are you going to be alive? <laughs> <laughs> the way said your that. legs are going right now. I'm going to be, to be honest. <laughs> I should have said that. I was just thinking about that. Jim's not making like, 80 at this rate. Geez, what are you talking about? I'm lucky to see 50. Jesus. <laughs> anyway. Uh, no, but this was weird because oh what was it? like nine goals to two or something. It was weird. It I'm was just, really weird. I'm watching it back this morning going, I don't get how this has happened. And that's why I think, like not the most confusing result, which is the Swans losing to Richmond or whatever. This is weird because all of a sudden the kid are like, hey, we're fun. Yeah. Watch this against Geelong. So it's not like it was North or Gold Coast or someone. They did Top it against team. Geelong. What the hell? So you want worms. Yeah, actually, there's another one. We've got three this worms today. A worm Gerald's like, oh, another no, bloody header. Come on, guys. <laughs> they're up 33 and they're down 30. And it's just this is a good worm. absolute chaos. Because Geelong did get back in front two different times yeah. in the fourth quarter after getting down in the third. And then St. Kilda just went whoop. So, time. yeah, it was nine goals to three first half. Then it was seven goals to zero third oh, quarter from the God. Saints. That is to zero. Seven third goals quarter. To zero. Yeah, third seven quarter. Seven goals to one, stats guy. I swear it was zero. Seven to one. one. Yeah. Oh, how did I, oh, anyway. That's just unbelievable by the Saints kicking they seven goals. They six goals in the yeah. fourth quarter. It's Crazy. insane. I loved it. What an awesome game this was. I was flipping over, like, because I think uh, having watched a bit of the second quarter, you're like, ah, Geelong are fine. Watched a little bit of the halftime thing. You're like, oh, ha, 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 ha. oh they've caught it for Geelong. Hilarious. Smash cut to me, like, looking down at the score bug in the corner. And this is where those score bugs on Fox Footy rule. They are good. They on are Channel good. 503, blah, blah, blah. St. Kilda <laughs> are beating Geelong. And you're like, oh, my God. What? <laughs> yeah. Change the so I, had that, I had that on watching the showdown, and partner goes for Geelong. I'm like, Geelong are losing. She's like, what? Oh, well. Wait, they're winning. <laughs> ah. Uh, and then 10 minutes later, they got smashed. She's like, yeah, what? Yeah, it was so weird. <laughs> it was awesome. What a chaos game. Uh, 
all like just the sheer audacity of Machido. He of was Dan, really good, but, yeah. Like Jack Higgins really popping good. up like Cooper yeah. Shaman yeah, was in my you. bed. Cooper Shaman. Cooper, Cooper Shaman is a beast. I love watching him, yeah. I was all Jack over Steel Cooper was Shaman. everywhere. Yeah, Jack Steele versus Bows in the midfield, the battle of the Jacks was really good. This but, brings major concerns to me about Geelong's so midfield in finals. That's, oh, 100%. that's exactly what we're talking They've about, had right? Midfield so when Bowers we talk well, about yeah. what, how, how do the two fan bases feel about it? Geelong fans are going to be like, oh, we do have holes. Yeah, yeah oh, of course. We got big, yeah, because it's like you can't rely on danger to try and turn the clock back every week and then now coming up against... He was still good, like, Daniel. You, you, you line up what the Geelong starting midfield is against what GWS, against Sydney, against Port. You're like, they're ta- you're taking Port, GWS, and yep. Sydney every time. Like, yes, they've got danger, but it's like... Max Holmes and Bose, mm. Chad Warner, Isaac Heaney, Cheeks, yep. Butters, Hornet, Rosie. Yeah. Like, the midfield's the end. And then GWS, so. like Green, Cornelio, and then Bedford is the tagger. It's like, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. It is one of those ones you go, they're not one paced, but they feel like yeah. they the other might one. Be one uh, St. Paced. Kilda are on track for, like, I know it's next year. They made the finals last year, but if they, they play football like this. No, but they play, this is what this is how they played last year. And everyone was like, this is actually, last year they played fun footy running off halfback. I can't remember. I can't remember. They did. They did. The mud Until this that year. final we went to, we were like, oh, they didn't play that. They got tsunami. Yeah, they got tsunami. But, they played like this last year. Saints fans would just be so frustrated because they're like, we know where, f- like, we can play a final standard because we saw but it last year. They've belted Geelong. Yeah. They've beaten Sydney. They just got beaten by Port. Yeah. I can't remember how they went against GWS. Someone, it's just a classic Someone please Saints in the comments tell me how win. St. Kilda and GWS went. But, like, they've played good footy. Mm. But they've also played some horrendous footy. St. Kilda fans, in a surprise twist, will be surprised and upset and just kind of, like, a bit bummed out. I feel like that's adult, just their yeah. entire but also, But also slightly off to they're like, hey, something to work with here. Yeah, some Kilda fans, Saints and Adelaide fans, and aroused. All right, <laughs> Sunday. The rest of these games suck, so we can probably fly through. We these. Have, we talk for ages on those we, like Saturday, uh, but they were the best games. Saturday was incredible. Yep. Today's games were absolutely horrible. Yeah, uh, we had. There's still some good things happening. We had a Bulldogs uh, North Melbourne game that was just. It was a hundred points basically. Wasn't oh, it? I didn't even put the score in. It was a hundred points. It Close was up. gross. Uh, Ninety six points. One 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 thirty eight to forty two. Twenty goals, eighteen to six goals. Oh. Six. Sam Darcy kicked more goals than North Melbourne. Yeah, Sam Darcy was amazing. That's his. Uh, yeah, what would you call it? Legacy well, game. Do people say they won by ninety six? It's a. It's, it was, it's like yeah. It's just ridiculous. One thirty eight to forty two. Yeah. You guys stink, and my phone is like going yeah. nuts in the background. <laughs> uh, oh, side like, note: Tristan, Ch- Tristan, Tristan Cherry for your super coaches. He was great. He points. actually, he just naturally is going to win heaps of hit outs. So he actually what didn't dominate. As in, if he yeah. dominated in the stats, but in the game, you wouldn't have gone, oh, he had a really good game. You got Sam Darcy kicking seven goals. It did help that Charlie Combin went off injured. Combin is the only player for North that has the reach possible. Sam Darcy would just put his arms up. Yeah, and he, three metres tall. I've said but it all his year. timing, I think Brad Johnson talked to me. I was like, oh, Brad Johnson made good. His timing, every time oh, he goes shock, up in the air. In a shock twist, the Western Bulldogs forwards coach was talking up the Western oh, Bulldogs. Let me get this straight stats point. <laughs> I said, he made, You're telling me. <laughs> The Brad Johnson, made a good point. legendary Western yeah. Bulldogs player, and also their made coach. a good point about the Western Bulldogs. No, I was just, I for one am shocked. I, I know that I know that he works at the dog, and he was obviously a dog's legend. But he just said about his timing. I hadn't thought about it's it. It's very easy to time it when you're three meters no, tall. It, so you everyone, just go, oh, yeah, I'm tall. There Bang. was a couple of times Cal Dawson, who's a young guy, uh, defender for North, Who? was was up first, but then he'd be on the way down, and then Sam does, he'd be like. Oh, I'm already up here. So yeah, it was just this really was good. A smashing. Yeah. The, this was North Melbourne's worst patch of footy for the season. It was. The amount of turnovers, uh, well, yelling at the screen the was brutal. The worst three quarters because yeah. the first quarter was awesome. Yeah. Like, like no, he was really good. Forth, the second were, and third quarters were disgusting. It yeah. was horrible. Just, they gave up 111 points in three quarters. It didn't Ish. help. Uh, Larky also they was hobbling. seven points in that time. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, in that between that after that first quarter, they kicked seven points the rest of the way into the. Yeah. Uh, I may or may not have gone fight. to the driving range in the last quarter to uh, get, some, get some ang- get some anger out. Fake, Fake fan. Yeah. Uh, how are the two fan bases feeling? Well, Ruse fans, stats boy. Uh, honestly, couldn't give a crap anymore about footy because uh, <laughs> North footy. Sorry, North. Hey, footy. Man, are you going to win <laughs> the w. dub this year? W. North, North AFL. Yeah, uh, exactly. We're very good in the AFLW, but uh, yeah, it's just brutal because a lot of hard work's been going well, been playing well at Marvel, and then we do that. Just costly turnover. Zach Fisher, I can't stand him. Can't stand Dylan Stevens. Just a lot of guys nah. turning the ball over a lot. Dogs um, fans. Dogs, dogs fans, fans are, will be very happy. Dogs, no. Dogs no. fans are like, this is great. 
how are we going to screw this up next week? We just need to win next week if you're Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. if they lose and Carlton and Freo win, they're out. Um, yeah. Oh, they'll be happy that. They just got to see Sandusky slot seven. Yeah, but it's yeah. also that, yay, we beat North Melbourne. Yeah. How do we screw this up next week against GWS? We carry that over. I also Ballarat. said while I was watching, oh, Sam does, he can't, usually, does, usually can't kick straight. He then kicked five goals in a row, and I'm like, oh. Okay, he, had, out, stats boy. he had a roof. Right. He had a roof. Uh, the next game yes. was Richmond St. Kilda. Richmond. No, it wasn't. It was no. oh, wait. Hawthorne, Hawthorne, Richmond. You haven't put the scores in, stats oh. guy. 131 to 68. <laughs> Hawthorne smashed them. It shouldn't have been that close even, really. It was, this, this game was over at quarter time. Just watch the first quarter. That's all you need to see it, out it of this game. It was literally up by 50 after it was, one, it was and it nine, was a laugher. So. It was nine goals to one, and then Hawthorne played a bit Hollywood, and I reckon Sam Mitchell will be tearing strips off yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. It's actually good, actually. Like, yeah. They needed to sort of give up the ghost a little bit. Yeah, in that second quarter, it was like Bolter and uh, Riol. No, Bolton. Bolton was pretty good, yeah. Bolton and quarter. Bolton actually yeah. kicked some goals yes. and Ralph Smith was doing some stuff. Yeah. Um, and you're like, all right, Gate sort of got them back into the game and then Hawthorne woke yeah. up at halftime and put the clamps But it's back also on. like they could have, they probably should have and could have won this by 100. Like the the Wizard should have had five. <laughs> 19 goals, 17 yeah. is just blah. The Wizard didn't make the distance on a few. Uh, get out in a full. He could have kicked five. Chole could have had five. Same with Deer. Gunston kicked five in the end, I think. Warple, 29 and two. Thought Massimo D'Ambrosio was really good. He is so fun to watch, Massimo. Uh, suck at Essendon fans. Yep. Shy Bolton was like, I'm going to try. Jeez, imagine if you had a retiring list manager who doesn't know he's uh, rear from Yeah, the would, just, would oh, not still gonna... be there if, uh, yeah, if 20... Dora wasn't there? Ooh. Just, oh, he's had a great 26 years at the club. They haven't played a final in 20. Nope. Yeah, like, can we talk about that? Like, Well, we're just smashing Essendon again. So, uh, <laughs> Let's go back to this game. Go I want to get back to that. Game. Game. Quickly through the rest of this one because yeah. we can just smash this. In the uh, West Jack Graham might get two weeks because the hoodie clean up again. Just, he came across, sure, didn't play the that. ball, collected someone in the head, 50-meter penalty. Uh, Will Day, not a broken collarbone, something sore, and Scrimshaw has a dislocated finger. Ooh. Hawthorne, really good, but... My worry for them is it, the week off going into finals could be the worst thing for them. They want to play footy every week. Yeah, there's yeah. like vibes. A week off just They like, should just play a game. They should just play a game, yeah. yeah. They'll, like, they'll just ring a random they local should, team. They, no, should, they should just call up like Adelaide. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you go, we'll fly you over. Yeah. Like, like, let's like, go play in Tassie. Yeah. Let's go like, on down we'll, there. We'll go to Marvel and we'll just play a game. Uh, two shot. fan bases, Hawks fans, and we just like, ooh, we smashed them. We're playing finals. Yeah, big We're tick. Laughing. Big tick. And then- Tigers fans are like, we're drafting. It's going to be No, great. Richmond fans, well, because oh, I, I said list halfway is so through bad, the game Richmond. that Richmond need to consider absolutely gutting this list. Like, I would consider offers for Taranto and Noah Bolter if they came along. Let let Ooh. Rioli go. Let Bolton go. Jack Graham's going to go. And then I would trade those other two. Yes, you're losing five players, but you could get 10 to 12 draft picks for them. They need to just draft better because some of the young guys are But no, but this year's draft actually looks very even look better, and very yeah. good. Yep. So it's it's going to be harder to miss, especially when you've got that many picks and especially if you get a couple of futures involved as well. Counterpoint, they'll just be like, well, remember when Collingwood basically bought on the ladder and then won a flag? They got Nick Dacos for free. Mm, true. Yeah. Anyway, Tig Tigers fans, it's a tough one down there at Tiger yep. Land. Yep. Hey, then West Coast play Carlton and Carlton. Oh, da, my da, God. Da, da. Never in doubt, right? Roger? Da, da, da. God, this sucked. Uh, the first half, I'm just like, oh, This game sucked. This. It did. It was very 99, scrappy. 99-34 in the end. Carlton went by 65 because they basically – didn't allow them to score. West, West Coast, Coast is not very good. West everyone Coast forgot get out of the uh, The fact rooms. that they were favourites, everyone forgot that West Coast are really, 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 really bad. And Carlton's That's defensive sort of, like we lose Saad and Boyd and sort of stuff like this, but they, they did really still well, have yeah. a very good, like, you know, McGovern, Weeders and stuff like that. It was fine. Uh, my boy, Ashton Moya, he was great in his debut, but it was like the they sent Brody Kemp forward. Yep. Um, they were always going to sort of throw someone like he or Lewis Young up forward. Uh, always kicked three. Kennedy kept, kicked a couple. J Train got around a couple, which is pretty good. But the fact they kicked <sighs> 34 four points. goals. That'll actually help game. your defense because you're 15th ranked, but that might uh, yeah, charge you up the ladder there. Not bad. Uh, Cripps was everywhere, though. Like, yeah, Brown, though, inside. First, half, first half of this game, he's like, boys, we are not losing yeah. this. Uh, they only led, what was it, like 45 to 14 at the, after the mm. first half. You were still worried. But that's because, <laughs> well, I was worried, but West Coast did not literally score in the second quarter. That was, so that was so this bad. game sucked. Yeah. So I think moving right along, how are the Blues fans feeling as well? <laughs> <laughs> they did it. Jeez. And Eagles fans were like, oh, we were favorites. What are we doing? They got smoked. They got, we got beaten by basically the, Carlton's VFL team at this point. Carlton, yeah, should be happy. They literally, all the young guys came in, played their role really well. And so, no one gave him a chance, so good on West Coast suck. I, I actually, them, but yeah. West Coast do suck, but at the same time, I think when you do throw 
a bunch of young dudes in a game like this and go, hey, Jack Carroll, you've played a bunch of games this season. Show us what you it's got. It's more your team he was now. Really it good. was your chance to get a final Jackson game. Jackson Bins playing VFL most of this yep. year. He was really good. Uh, getting like Putting more responsibility on Oe's shoulders, that actually kind of worked. Yeah, yeah. Like throwing Brody the, Camp around. As I said on the Thursday show, just letting Vossi go full Magneto. <laughs> he went full Magneto. It worked. It was pretty good. Anyway, good win. Tipping results. Uh, you mate, Jim got six. I got six as well. I have no idea. I'm assuming four or five because sure. I tipped Collingwood. Oh, yeah. Full credit to the boys, the best team of the round. I want to say Port because I yeah. feel like oh. coming uh, into this second game. Second beats 14th. Yeah, that's not. Coming into this, this game. This is like me last I'm week. I'm going to say something. I don't know about that, yeah. It's a showdown. They lost that many showdowns They lost in three row. showdowns yeah. in a row, but yeah, I don't know about and this game of the week. You looked at that forward line. We, we yeah. talked this out the other day, right, on Thursday's show. That forward line was bereft. It mm. sucked. And they found a way. And they just sort of like... But it wasn't through the forward line. It was through Zach Butters getting well, that's what I'm saying. They found touches. a way through their awesome midfield. And that's like the thing that we probably discounted a little bit too much. Like their midfield is rad and Adelaide's defense kind of sucks. So they ran rampant in that second half. And it was really impressive for the simple fact of like, if you get a couple of your dudes back, solidify that forward line again, you're laughing. And I think that's to have your back against the wall like that in a showdown in that sort of spot. Amazing. I thought it was really, really, really cool. I enjoyed them. I mm. really did. Fair also, enough. the baggers. Hashtag flaggers. <laughs> Alex. St. Kilda. Like, you yeah, do that. You, has to be. you has have to that be. Uh, goal differential against Geelong turn around and absolutely whip them. It's got to be Geelong. They kicked 16 goals in uh, St. Kilda, sorry. They kicked 16 goals in three quarters. That's unbelievable. Under Ross Light. What the hell? What it, happened? They were fun. Is that alternate universe? Uh, yeah. St. Kilda. But mm. co workers Mark and Tom are going to think I've had a stroke in saying St. Kilda are the best team in the round. Yeah. Uh, uh, maybe GWS beating Freo. Well, I put in uh, as a backup here Collingwood. I thought the fact that they got over Brisbane and they showed that exact type of game style where they come back and just finish really strong, same as last year, and they were, how they won the flag. So the fact Collingwood fans are like, oh, but how, like, why, really are we ta- why, why are we talking them up when there's other teams all year, like GWS and Sydney, who've yeah. given teams head starts? Like, oh, I don't know about them. They're, oh, they can't keep giving teams a head start. It's like, what are we doing? No, well, Collingwood, are, at least you guys are backing it up in your first. But yeah, I just, I'm, all yeah. I'm saying is Collingwood did well. We're giving Collingwood credit for getting over the top of a team that hasn't beaten a team other than Melbourne, the MCG, in a decade. That's the best Collingwood have played. They in a long so time. Good. So anyway. When Dacos is yeah. doing that, it's just inexorable. Yeah, I'll just put him in there. Best on ground of the week. It was the best player you saw. Well, it's Zach Butters. Put up a uh, yeah. record showdown. Yeah. 42 uh, disposals. 42 disposals. It was absolutely everywhere. I don't like that Broden's ripped off my, he looks like the dude from Game of Thrones. Yeah. yeah. That was you. I said that at the start of this year. You what did. are we doing? Did. Gerald, to clip that part up so we can fight Broden. <laughs> it might have been from last year's show, just saying. Uh, <laughs> but Zach Butters was awesome. That was in just... It sort of leads back from my game, my team in the round for Port. He was just awesome. Like when Rosie's in that sort of next role, Hornet sort of like in the thing where you can just throw him forward and it doesn't matter. I just realized like, that's that helping huge. my uh, Brownlow bet with you that we have. Very Zach nice. Butters. Yeah, top, yeah, top, Against, uh, yeah. Jason Hornet, Hornet, Hornet and Zach Butters. Butters. I don't even remember what the bet was. It's a sandwich. Was yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Uh, and Sam Darcy, seven goals was awesome. Yeah. Like, yeah, you got to put Sam Darcy. It was against North. Though, I didn't want to so. talk about him. But yeah. Alex. Jesse Hogan. Six goals. Monster and nah, Too inaccurate. Too inaccurate. <laughs> Don't care. He's, he's, all I know is he's nailed the Coleman, and you and I said this in about round yeah, 18 yeah, that he'd yeah. win the Coleman. Yep. So hopefully Leo finds that clip for us. My yes. favorite thing from that game was my five-year-old's on laughing at Jesse Hogan kicking goals. <laughs> he's like, Dad, what is he doing? That twinkle oh, toe. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. like, <laughs> like uh, Fred Flintstone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He just like laughed a lot. It when is he very funny because even he yeah. did it when he was at the top of the goal yeah. square. I'm like, Jesse, just take two no, steps and kick it through. No, go through your routine. He's a good kick. Uh, but also, um, props to Patrick Cripps. What yep. an awesome game. It was West Coast, but geez. He was awesome. In a tough spot yeah. to just lead from the front like that. Brown, though. Pretty good. Could have said the same thing about my man, Haynes. He, yeah. hey, once again, man of his word, Isaac Haney. Yeah, they bounce back. Yep. Uh, yeah, another GWS player, Brent Daniels. Yep. Underrated. A lot of people don't talk about a lot of the Giants players because we don't uh, – a bit of Vic buy sometimes. Brent Daniels, 29 disposals, three goals, 13 tackles, 11 score involvement, seven clearances. You'd be like, oh, that looks like a stat line of Patrick Cripps. No. It was Brent Daniels. They, All just, Australian small forward. He started Brent as yeah, like Daniels. a small forward. He played a lot of midfield uh, in this game. I love watching Brent Daniels. Nice. So good. All right. It's time for Stats Man's yeah. Stat of the Week. It's Stat of the Week. Get oh, Stat song. of the Week. Get Gerald Stat of the song. Week with Stats Boy. Nice. Uh, Sam Darcy is the tallest person to kick six-plus goals in VFL-AFL history. Takes the record from Paul Salmon. 
So, you, so you've got uh, Sam Darcy is 208 centimetres. You've got uh, Paul Salmon, 206 centimetres. He did kick 11, though. Sam Darcy only kicked the seven. Paul Salmon was a weapon. Yeah, yeah he Paul was Salmon an absolute ruled. weapon. So Paul, 11's a, great, a bit better. One of the like, great basketball trainers like, blah, 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 was a problem. Paul Salmon was a well, he problem. Was yeah. a pro he was an absolute beast, Paul Salmon. And then we were just talking before the show about some just other random tall blokes. I just thought of David Hale. I used to love him at North. He's 203 centimetres, so five centimetres less. But he randomly kicked eight once. He was just a really good ruckman that would go forward. I loved him at North. And, Mine uh, was Dean Cox kicking five. Dean Cox kicking. That's pretty random because yeah. he didn't kick that many goals. Yeah. Nice. So there you go. He it's kicked that. the best grand final goal I've ever seen. Sorry, Dean Cox. 2005 grand final. Was on the run. Took three bounces yeah, on the right. wing yeah, and bombed it from 55. It's, oh, my God. I forgot about that. Nice one. All right. Old mate, no mates. Who's got no mates? Dyson Heppel. <sighs> I got a counterpoint on this. You're still going to get your heads kicked in by Sydney. Just give him a run. I know. What does your team stand for if you don't give him a run? It's just. Oh, hang on. I, I, I'm... Are you going to lose by more because Dyson Apple's out there? Maybe because I will... he's not very good anymore. Just give him that one game. <laughs> I'm going to bring this up. My, the, I'll bring up a counterpoint in the what I can't stand. Okay. So. Yeah. Fair enough. Is he not in your best 22? Was he not in your best 22 at the start of the year? Just play. Yeah. He's not, though. It's a bit of an old man. <laughs> if he's not, then why was he yeah. playing this year? True. You know, True. One of those things. True. Uh, and if he's not, he should not have been playing. Is he, he's surely he's playing he next week, right? So. Surely. Uh, we don't know. Let's find out. Uh, but it's a bit old mate, no mates, because, like, you know, it's a bit emotional for the Essendon fans out there. Emotional for Dice. Anyway, tough one. Yeah. Alex. Uh, Joey Duckett's. There, there was one that happened right in front of me. He decided to take two running bounces instead of chipping it over to Chucky some Cameron. Dumb things, yeah. And the ball slipped out and he got tackled holding yeah. the ball. There was another time that he burnt Charlie, just could have hit him up on a short up lead, went yeah, the Charlie's shot, like, didn't make the distance. And, and for that, that's what leads certain other Brisbane players to be selfish when they finally get the footy because Joe doesn't pass it. Mm -hmm. And he went full, full Joe Danaher with the long torps, the missing the sitters. When you get on the team bus, it's like, we could Just have had three extra joke. goals if you weren't a tool. Yeah. yeah. And then also Dan Houston for knocking out uh, Rankin because, yes, Port Adelaide have won and all that, but it's like, why'd you do that, man? Like, well, you're important players, yeah. for us in finals Rankin, running he's, off he's half back. Freak, yeah. Really important. Yeah, like you didn't need to do that. Yeah. Uh, old mate, no mate, stats boy. Yeah, Josh Rochelle, uh, I think everyone's talking about him. Obviously, he had the no teeth comments to the Port fans during the week. Then he did the no teeth celebration. I did I like the no teeth celebration, great. but old mate, no mate, just his teammates going, Oh, we're going to cop so much more heat because of you, Josh. Yeah, Shelley. but I like it. It was bring it. it, it I did like it twice a year. But it's awesome. old mate, it no mate. It brought some sure. fanfare to the game where Port yeah. was the home team yeah, too. Yeah, Dicko, they're going, they're all throwing the teeth lollies out <laughs> yeah. here. It's crazy. It but is very awesome. funny, but yeah, the, his teammates are probably going, just calm it down a little bit. All right. Really quickly, why I can't stand commentators calling it at halftime. <laughs> oh, <laughs> can't stand that, Joey. Uh, Oh, they well, they've won this one. So, what does this mean for the lad? They haven't won the game because it's half time. Yeah, like I don't know how many more times do we need to see just chaotic results this year to like knock it through your thick skull. Go, there's always a bit of a chance that someone can come back. Look at Collingwood and Brisbane this week. We just saw it with the Saints and Geelong. Like, it's chaos. What are you doing? Don't call the game. It's not over yet. It's half time. Exactly. Uh, Alex. So what I can't stand is the chat around Dyson Heppel with people saying, oh, he deserved a, a farewell game. It's bad for you to not do that. Okay, well, if Essendon gave Dyson Heppel the farewell game and the results stayed the same, the media would have come out of Essendon just as hard going, why would you play Dyson Heppel when you had finals on the line if you beat Sydney? Either way, whatever Essendon did was going to be the wrong decision in the media's eyes. I don't like Essendon. Dyson Heppel is not really? in their best. Wait, wait really? a minute. <laughs> well, <love> really? <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Record scratch. Now, you're probably guessing why yeah, we're well, here. Yeah. <laughs> we need the music in the background. <laughs> but, yeah, whatever Essendon did in this case, they were not going to – they were going to get called out by the media regardless. Yeah. I like it as if they didn't pick him because he's not in their best 23. They lose the game, which most rational people thought they yeah. would. He can play next week in the dead rubber. It doesn't matter. Dead rubber in Brisbane. Yep. Enjoy that, Dyson Apple. Stats boy. Uh, I did I did forget to put one in, but uh, I'm just going to go Gold Coast in general. Just <laughs> Gold Coast. Uh, so you're not coming with me to Blitz, all right? No. Oh, I'm not. Sucked I'm not in. No, just Gold Coast, the actual club, the Suns, just why I can't stand. Every year, everyone goes, all right, you're going to push for finals. Like, we were, we were even on board. You're going to win all your home games. You're going to do this, you're going to do that. 
and they just continue to crumble. And I can't stand because I I want to root for the Gold Coast. As a neutral fan, everyone wants to root for the Gold Coast. They don't have many fans, so what? I can't stand when they just crumble like that. What I can't stand is people calling it the Gold Coast. Jared Healy. It's just Gold. Coast. Did I just say the Gold Coast? I say the West Coast. Like Alistair Lynch. Who's from up there even calls it the Gold Coast on his boundary writing? I'm like, yeah. you're all doing it wrong. <laughs> what are we doing here? We all do it wrong. All right, finally. Whoa, Stats Boy. Whoa, Stats Boy. He's got a stat. His name's Stats Boy. Yeah, yeah. It's better than Harley Reid. Let's go. It is. Uh, the My run sheet just exploded, but if, I'm going to go Joel Frazier, better than Harley Reid. 29 disposals. I've so missed. you're telling me Joel Frazier's <laughs> a better player I'm than saying, Harley Reid. I'm saying just, he is. He is. 29 disposals, 90% efficiency, seven score involvements. Harley Reid only had the 23 disposals, and Joel Frazier, that is his career best game, better than Harley Reid. Caden Cleary had a bigger impact on the game on Friday night than Harley Reid did today against Carlton. Yep. Harley I mean, Reid. I'm being a big hater on Harley Reid. I didn't shout out Caden Cleary. First year I, love, I just don't like him. So. I love Harley Reid. No, I don't. Bit of, uh, <laughs> bit of fart smelling going out west, though. He yeah. was doing some stuff where you're like, oh, that's not the team option. No, he, he tried to kick one. Even the commentators called him out. He bombed it from 65. He was missing teammates left, mm. right, and center. Gave away yeah. a couple of dumb free kicks. Just No, nah, I love Harley Reid. <laughs> right. That's a good one. I like better than Harley Reid. Each week, Stats Boy is going to I like how we've down. given Stats Guy two segments yeah. in round 23. Yeah, yeah good. Yeah, He's finally in them. <laughs> <laughs> These are dead rubbish. Gerald, yeah. can you please add that to the animation She's list we need? Dead them. rubber shows as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a great uh, show. But the Harley, I love Harley Reid, but I think every week now, Stats Boy is going to pinpoint someone who did better than him. Why not? Why not? Uh, the Super Coach watch from this week was fascinating. Brent Daniels had 195 Super coach nice. points. That is so For the good. One percent of teams who had him. One percent. I hope you captain him. John Newcomb at 162. As I mentioned, Zach Butters the 156. I had sort of kicked around the tires, like you know, checking the VC on him, but I was so sort of like nailed on the uh, Noah Anderson captain that I went on the bond at the end, which had about one. 130. Callum Cherry, 141. Nice. Callum Wilkie, 152. Callum Eddie Wilkie? Brayshaw, what? 147. Rowan Marshall, again, was awesome. He's 146. been great. Dawson, uh, 143. Very nice. Lawson Humphreys was the big one. A lot of people would have had him on the field no, over uh, Go Sheasel. back to your mate, Joel Frazier, 136. Nice. Yeah, but does anyone have him? Me. Oh, you have him. He was on my what bench. Oh, on yeah. your bench, tough. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, no, I, no, he played for me. I got him on oh, because I had I had two donuts yeah, yeah. plus Combin and now Houston. So I'm oh, going you're, four. You're, you're cool. I've won my prelim. I'm going four donuts into the grand final. Wow. Cripps with 142. I brought him in for Sheasel this week. Cherry with 141 if you're cap if you captain him this week. Because all he does does is roll out 140. Big plus mentality now. was all over that on the uh, Supercoach show. Nice one. We've got Dylan Moore with 139. Very, very nice if you had him in your forward line as well. Uh Jack Steele. 136, Jack Viney, 136. Wow. Uh, Nick Martin, 135. And uh, a couple of other inter- – Jesse Hogan, 130, 124. Not bad. I was trying to get him, but I uh, didn't have enough money. Not bad. Uh, Pitto, 122. Jeez. Still, it was like <laughs> a pretty chaotic super coach week, but there should probably be some pretty big scores, I'd reckon. So I think I've ended up topping one oh, – 234. That can't be right. It was, well, it was on earlier. 230. 2380. That's all right. I got 2384. So oh, I, wish we, I wish we played against 23 each other. 2352 with two donuts. I, feel, yeah, I wish we played against, donut against donut each other. Well. Could have been you by four. All points. right, there you go. That'll do it for AFL today. For today, we'll be back with AFL today on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Uh, thanks to the Ding guy for jumping on. My two very good friends, Alex Donnelly. <laughs> thanks, Jim. And the Stats Boy. Thank you. Not a problem. Uh, this is a lot easier when you've not had a couple of beers, but geez, I'll tell you what, this has still been long. Uh, remember to smash a like across all the socials to see us doing lots of fun stuff throughout the week. What do we do this week? I can't even remember. Uh, I honestly can't remember either. We, we, there is a lot of good socials going oh, on. We, there. Did, we did, did a couple of footy the, numbers. We did the song Guernsey's. ranking. Song ranking that's going off, the Guernseys, Guernseys. as well. Yeah, it's going really well. Love that. Getting abused for calling them jerseys and Guernseys or whatever, guys. They're just awesome kits. Yep. We'll just say kits. Kits. God, bloody palms. Uh, <laughs> anyway, smash all the socials. What is it? YouTube, Facey, Instagram, TikTok, X. Uh, what is it? Aussie Rules. Yep. On today. Facebook. On Facey. Subscribe star like all of our other shows as well. The AFL Today Show, of course. This one, Cricket Today Podcast, Football Today Podcast, NBA Australia, NFL Australia as well. NFL Australia is coming along very quickly. Jeez, I've done so much prep in the last week. My brain is so nfl It's awesome. Nice. Uh, hold all tickets. The AFLW Today Show as well will be Lord. launching this week. This week, isn't week, it? Week, Wednesday. Wednesday. How my, exciting my is that? My brain hurts from watching a bunch of match sim and learning nice. a lot of things. I have some early takes at who sucks, and I think there's a certainty to win the flag. I think it'll be Ooh. you who sucks because Bryony's going to outshine you in a heartbeat. Oh, Bryony rules. Not hard. Yeah, they are awesome. Yep. Way better than you. Uh, <laughs> get around them all. Eliza like, Riley on the show too. 
Oh, nice. Getting around, I'm like, I don't know, me getting around some of the old uh, sparkling waters today. <laughs> pour one out for, for, pour one out for Jim. Pour one out for my boozing. <laughs> it's gone by the wayside. Anyway, uh, that's it. We'll catch you later this week for a huge final round of the AFL season. AFL today doing round 24. As I said, we might just live stream all of next Sunday. Until then, look after yourselves and remember, footy da, 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 is back. If you like this show, make sure you check out all the other shows in the Sports Today Network, from the AFL Today Show to the Cricket Today Podcast, the Football Today Podcast, as well as NBA Australia and NFL Australia. With Sports Today, your sporting needs have never been easier to cover.